So one of these up the back here, off the top, are the are the best. Because as you come down the cape, they get smaller. Um, the only thing with those fibrets, they are longer. Oh yeah. You can get a really long tail. Oh, yeah. A black spinner has three sections to its tail. But I don't don't worry about that. You just want a nice little bunch of tie it in and have a look at it. So you don't want it really short like a nymph tail. So just a nice length, probably longer than the hook shank. Now I've tied a fair bunch in there. If you think there's too many there, which I do, cut them, cut just a few away. Okay, so we've probably got four or five there. Now on dry flies, the finer the rib, the better, because again it's weight. First of all, tie your rib in. So the finest rib I have in my collection, it's probably finer than here, but it just adds that little bit of colour, if you like. Okay, one goose or turkey boy. Pick one out of the centre that's nice and long. Bring your thread forward. And remember I said tie it in by the tip. So I'm going to use one of these whiting, have a look through your feathers and, and about what size you would tie it. So I like it to be about the width of the gape of the hook. Just tie it in as normal. Mostly I like a reasonable amount of hackle on my flies. Now if you think that's just once through, if you, if you want it thicker, come back through the hackle and then come forward again. Okay, with the thread come through it. Now the quicker you come through a hackle with thread, the less likely you are to crush it. I have a, you know, a lot of different ones in my box. Some are big for choppy water and all that sort of thing. Others are quite small for smooth water. Now on this, when I put a dob of varnish on, I like to drop it back in the hackle a little bit. So as yeah, so it yeah gets back in there a little bit too. <laughs> 